Get out, out of my, my way. way! Here I go! I just got back, what the hell? Let's move! Here I go! Burn to ash! Fall! Let's move! There! I won't give up! Sit! I need to make up for lost time! I think I'll take this off for now. Right. All right. Welcome back. Hey. Hey. <sighs> Enemies in sight. Ready to go? Here we go. I think I won't be able to get back, but alright. <laughs> Stealth Frog. A monster that uses giant dead leaves that's camouflage to consume itself. That was low, how is it to look at me? It doesn't like wind. Here I go! Well, Alright. Sit! Let's move! Second form! Game! Crap. My turn! Ha! Let's move! Need to make up for lost time. Whoa, 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 not yet. Get out of my way. Here I go. Let's move. My turn! Ha! Here I go! Sit! Let's move! Ha! Here I go! Ha! I need to hurry and find the others! <sighs> this is stressful. I need to get my strength back. I'd asked this before and didn't get an answer. Probably because I was bombarding you with question after question, but 
Better late than never, I guess. Just what are you, anyway? Why do you know so much about everything? And don't even think of saying you're just an ordinary cat. Because last time I tried talking to a cat, it did not talk back. Oopsie! <laughs> totally forgot about that, didn't I? I'm what you'd call a familiar. I faithfully serve the witches of the Hexen clan and aid them in fulfilling their duties. Witches? As in the witches in Erebonian legend? First the quaint night legend turns out to be based on a true story, now this? I feel like I've stepped into a fairy tale. Well, you know what they say, truth is stranger than fiction. Whether you believe me or not is up to you. I'm not going to try and convince you. Oh, I've got no real reason to doubt you at this point. So, do you serve Emma then? Rather, does that mean she's a witch? She's still a novice, but she is a witch, yes. My job's more to keep an eye on her though. I did always get the sense that there was more to Emma than meets the eye. Yes, we were right. But her being a witch? It's surprising. But then again, the more I think about it, the more it makes perfect sense. <laughs> hmm? What's with the goofy grin? Oh, it's nothing. Anyway, let's get going. Find the others. <sighs> no, I this probably should have cancelled that. I should have cancelled that that arc. All right, so Emma's a witch. Makes sense. Ah! Then all the things. Get out of my way! Not Here I go. At all. Oh, I got me as your arc. My turn. Uh... Huh. Need to make up for lost time. Roxy puppet. Right. Things don't revive, but only once. Okay. and find the others. Safe and sound. Not 
Not to mention Elise, Princess Alphen, and Prince Oliver, too. <sighs> Celestial Bond. Good, good. I need to take a deep breath and keep calm. I can start figuring things out once I get a little farther down. <sighs> About time. Get out of my way! Problem. My turn! Clear! Let's move! Sit! Let's move! Ha! Here I go! Ha! My turn! Ha! I need to hurry and find the others! <sighs> this is stressful. Yeah, I got the new material. Good, good. Even though I already have a ton of those. Get out of my way! Let's move! Ha! My turn! Ha! Let's move! Ha! Let's move! Ha! My turn! Too slow! Here I go! Ha! Here I go! Ha! Here I go! Ha! I'm not worried about my. Here I go! Ha! There's a rest station. I need to hurry and find the others. Here just in case, but I'm not entirely sure I can beat the gun boss at my current level. Could it be? I've been here before. Master Kafai brought me here as part of my training. That's the name of your former instructor, right? Yeah. He was the founder of the Eight Leaves One Blade School of Swordsmanship that I follow. His full name's Master Yun Kafai, though most just know him as the Sword Hermit. Man, when was the last time I came here? It must have been, I don't know, five years ago. In fact, if I remember right, my hometown of Ymir is only a few hours away. Oh, really? Well, that's convenient. Wanna head there? We might be able to get there by sundown. If we hurry, yeah. As soon as we get to Ymir, I want to try and gather information on what's been going on. What was that? It feels like it's coming closer! It couldn't be! Is? 
They're magic golems made during the Dark Ages, and they're incredibly strong! Damn it, what's one doing here? to get out of here, now! You don't stand a chance against it on your own! Maybe not. But that's not going to stop me from trying. You idiot! You're still recovering! You don't stand a chance! We'll see about that. All I know is that it's standing between me and everyone I care about. So if getting to them means taking this thing on, so be it! Unbelievable. Bring it on. My turn. All right, let's do this. Here I go. My turn! Huh. I'm balanced with everything. Magic Knight or Thief. The magic golem from the Dark Ages that awoke from some unknown cause full of great power. Here I go! Marcus, activate! Huh! Here I go! Burn to ash! Fall! My turn! Burn to ash! Fall! Here I go! There! Let's move! My turn! Uh, yeah! Here I go! Uh, huh! Here I go! Here I go! There! Ha! Let's move! There! Ha! Let's move! Let's move! Ha! Here I go! Ha! Let's move! Uh -huh. 
My turn. Uh, yeah. Let's move. Ha! Here I go. Let's move. Ha! My turn. Huh. My turn. All right, this is taking a bit more effort than I expected, but it's going okay so far. What? I was winning! My attacks are barely putting a dent into it! <laughs> We're so close to Ymir too! I told you this would happen! I can't lose. Not here. Not without seeing everyone again. Emma. Not today, buddy. See you later! Cross Crusade! I expect he'll be back. We safe? Who did that? Reen! Reen! <gasps> Whew! Made it without a second to spare. Well, well, well. Good to see you're still in one piece! I'm so glad we hurried. I don't want to even imagine what could have happened if we weren't in time. You aren't hurt, are you? Your Highness... and Tovo... and... Well, I'll be the way they went. Green, stay right there! Please, tell me you're alright! You look so exhausted. Who's she? Lace? It's really you. I feel like I'm dreaming. I never would have expected you to come all the way out here. Green, please! There's no need to speak right now. Save your strength. We'll take you back to Ymir just as soon as we've seen to your injuries. I'm just... so... You're all right, but how did you know I was here? As my consciousness began to fade, I heard a distinct voice resound at the back of my mind. A voice with all the gravity of steel. And yet, a strange sense of familiarity, of warmth. And as I listened, I could feel myself being beckoned 
towards the Wheel of Fortune. Dost thou desire the power? Hey! You know, some of these are characters we haven't actually met yet, so... Spoilers. Everything that happened in the mountains. <sighs> Why did it get so cold all of a sudden? Oh, you finally woke up? Yeah, just a second ago. How about you? Feeling better after a catnap? Hmm, I guess. I slept more than I meant to, actually. You're awake. Elise! Um... Good morning. Actually, it's probably closer to noon now, isn't it? <gasps> Elise? Oh, I'm so happy that you're awake! You don't know how scared I was! There was all that chaos in the capital, and then we lost all contact with you! We had no idea where you were! I'm just so... So relieved. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for worrying you so much, Elise. <laughs> no, no, you don't need to apologize. I knew that somewhere out there you were all right, and that you'd come back safe. Welcome home, Reen. It's good to be back, and thanks. <laughs> I see our two little lovebirds are as twitter pated as ever. P pardon? Good morning, Reen. And 
same to you as well, Elise. Hey there. Just swinging by to see how you're holding up. You're here too, Your Highness? I'm really not dreaming then. Oh, you're so silly, Reen. I would have thought the warmth of your dear sister pressed against your chest was proof enough of that. Y your Highness, please! <laughs> Well, I'm just glad you're up. How are you feeling? Still sore? You've been fast asleep since we brought you back here yesterday. I don't have any serious injuries, at least. But I doubt I'd be able to say that if you hadn't come when you did. Thanks, Toval. I suppose I owe you my thanks, too. Oh, shit. That art of yours didn't come a moment too soon. <laughs> you're both very welcome. I just didn't want to give these two young ladies anything to cry about. Excuse, you have no reaction to her and I'm talking black yet. Aww. Hello? I see you're finally up. Dad! Mom! Hello, Reen. It's wonderful to see you back home. I imagine you have plenty of questions running through your mind, but first and foremost is getting you something to eat. We can discuss what to do from here on out, after that. Lady Lucia Schwarzer Baron Theo Schwarzer It's been a month now since that so-called Noble Alliance occupied Heimdall. At present, they have effectively They have effectively all of the nation's major cities under their control. The Imperial Army tried what they could to do to stop their advances, but the majority of their forces have already been defeated. I had a feeling that would be the case. If nothing else, at least you two are safe. We were at Sintastra when the capital was occupied, so we were caught up in the chaos too. It was only thanks to two of all appearing and rescuing us that we are still here, yes, that we're sitting here now. What were you doing there, Tova? I got an urgent request to escort Her Highness and Miss Elise to save me. As soon as I got that, I booked it there as fast as I could. I'd never turn down a personal request from Prince Oliver, you know. Prince Oliver asks you? Well, that explains it. He kindly escorted us out of the capital, successfully beating the Noble Alliance in attempts to pursue us. And roughly 10 days later, we were able to reach him here. I'm just so glad you made it here too. Unfortunately, it appears that His Majesty the Emperor and Crown Prince Cedric fell into the Alliance's hands. The official story is that both of them have been taken into protective custody, so they are both rumored to be saved. However, Prince Oliver's whereabouts currently may not know. There's not even a there's not even a confirmation that he is safe somewhere. That's more than a little worry. You need to be so concerned. I'm sure he's perfectly well. He made it through the chaos in the world last year unharmed, as you know. He's always been a resilient one. As for Cedric, father and mother, I'd like to believe they're alright too. I'm I'm sure they are, Your Highness. <laughs> that he wasn't hot enough. I'm worried about the Imperial Army as much as anyone. But if you don't mind me interjecting, Reen, I imagine you probably you are probably most concerned about what happened to Trista and Thor's. Luckily for you, we've managed to get some info on that on that front. 
Please tell me everything you know. What's happening over there at the academy? Is everyone alright? I don't think this will come as much of a shock to you, but both Twitter and Thor's Milita military academy are completely under the Noble Alliance forces. Control now. They were both taken over not long after the war began. No. Read. No matter how much I thought about it, I didn't want to believe it was true. What about the students and our instructors? Honestly, I wish I had more I could tell you. There are rumors that they resisted being occupied as long as they could, but not much more than that. Try not to let concern get the best of you. It's too early to presume the worst has happened. Yeah, I'm with Lord Schwarzer here. On the contrary, some rumors would even suggest the opposite. <coughs> what rumors? Word has it that the number of students and staff are unaccounted for. And the Noble Alliance is still trying to find them. Then that means... Have some of them managed to escape? Well, rumors are rumors. Still, your classmates and Sarah have more than gotten their feet wet at this point. I can't see them being taken down easily. The odds sound pretty good if you ask me. What say? Huh. What else can I see? I would have to agree. Silly. I couldn't tell you where she is right now, but Emma is still alive. That's guaranteed. You can tell? I'm with Familiar, so we've got a link of some kind between us. If anything were to happen to her, trust me, I'd know about it. All I know is that she's alive, though. Nothing else. How peculiar. Anyway, there's no point in assuming the worst when there's every chance that it hasn't been covered. So, try keeping the faith, alright? No one is reacting to a random talking black cat. What the hell? Think of it, uh, think of it this way. They're probably just as worried about you as you are for them. And yet here you are, safe and sound. You got a point, actually. Safe and sound you may well very well be, but you're hardly in peak condition. Take this chance to stay home for a time and recover your strength. And while you're here, why not go pay everyone a visit? The whole village has been eagerly awaiting your recovery. That's true. I think they'd all be delighted to see you. And um, if you'd like, I'd be happy to accompany you. Thanks for the concern, Elise, but I'll be fine on my own, honest. That sounds like a good idea, Mom. I think I'll do just that. Hmm. Prologue. Depths of Despair. Hmm. It looks like Elisa and Princess Alfin has already gone out. Like Mom said, it might not be a bad idea to follow suit. This could be a good chance to walk around the village and collect myself a bit. Event markers. Occasionally you'll see event markers displayed on characters and places. These show that an event will take place there. Field screen. Mm -hmm. Mini map screen. Expanded map screen. Key event required to advance the story, red marker, green marker, quest event related to quest that isn't mandatory. The mayor's tongue map cannot be accessed by pressing the square button. The tongue map allows you to confirm the present location of both important characters and objectives. Well, alright. Someone here. Mother! Wow, that smells delicious. Wait a sec. Is that peasant stew? <laughs> Your favorite. Your father said that he wanted you to have a nourishing dinner, so he went and caught one himself. 
Really? I'll be sure to thank him later. Speaking of food, you've got a lot going on here. It smells amazing. Well, the circumstances may not be ideal, but it has been too long since we last dined together as family. Ever since Her Highness arrived, it's been so lively that I feel like I've gained a second daughter. Times like these are when a mother has to put her best foot forward. What do you think? You really are the perfect model. Even times like these, you're right here, ready to warmly welcome us home with open arms. I can see that ever changing. If only I were half as good as a son as you are. Mom, something wrong? That's not true at all. And I had no idea what was going on with you and your sister. I was worried myself sick. At times, it felt as though my chest was going to be strong. But believing that you two would come home, come back to me safely, was the key to keeping myself together. With that in mind, I could focus instead on getting this house ready to welcome you both home. Oh, wow. Whatever doubts you may have about your place in this family, as long as you're here in this house, you are our son. If you ever feeling down or afraid, you can always find comfort in my arms. And then once you've found the strength to keep going, you can pick things back up right where you left them. Thanks, Mom. I actually feel a lot better now. <laughs> well, Look forward to dinner tonight. And make sure you wake up a good appetite for it, alright? No worries there. I think I need to lower this. Just a bit. Here I go! Upstairs. Yep. Baba. All of the Empire's major cities are under con the control of the Noble Alliance now. They've been so focused on those, they haven't had the time to deal with, the f with frontier regions like ours. Thankfully, this means that Yemea hasn't felt the full impact of the Civil War. It does seem that way. I was relieved to see how little changed. A nice snowfall is the only real difference compared to my last visit. By the way, I see you choose not to join the Noble Alliance. Is everything alright on that front? Well, I've never wanted anything to do with the Noble Faction to begin with. There's always a chance they'll try and invite me to join, but I'm confident I can talk my way out of it. I'm a little concerned that I can't get in touch with Viscount Arsene, however. You can't? Did something happen over in the ground? Or maybe even the Courageous? I'm afraid I couldn't tell you, but it's Viscount Arsene we're talking about. You'll be fine. Regardless, I'm just trying to make sure that we're well prepared for anything. Especially since our duties have expanded to sheltering the Highness. That's true. The Alliance, is already, the Alliance already has His Majesty and the Crown Prince, so it's safe to assume they want Princess Alphen as well. Dad, let me know if there's anything I can do to make your job easier. I'm more than happy to help. Of course, I'm sure I'll be counting on you in the days to come. Still, start with trying not to rush things. You shouldn't have to jump to thinking you need to, sh to shoulder more than your fair share of responsibility. There's only so much burden that one person can bear. Do you think I'm shouldering too much? <laughs> Admittedly, those are Master Kafai's words, not, my, uh, not mine. But they get across what I want to say well enough. And whether I think it or not, this is a good chance for you to get some well-earned rest. I want you to make the most out of it, alright? Sure, thanks dad. Alright. 
Baron Lady Elise. Oh, here you are, Elise. I wasn't expecting to find the two of you together. Well, it's quite cold outside, so I thought I'd come and give Celine some warm milk. <sighs> I keep telling her that she doesn't need to go out of her way for me, but she won't listen. The steam here is plenty to keep me warm. Oh no, that wouldn't do at all. You saved my brother's life. At least allow me to try and make your stay here in Ymir a comfortable one. Celine saved my life? And when exactly did this happen? I told her nothing of the sort. I keep trying to tell her it's not true, but she won't believe a word I say. Um, is something the matter? <laughs> nope, not a thing. I'd really rather you didn't act like I saved his life, though. Besides, if anything, I should be the one who owes you. What do you mean? N nothing Forget I said anything. The milk's cooled down a little now, so I'm going to have some. Thank you. <sighs> Thinking back on it, didn't Elise later say she spotted a cat when she went into the old schoolhouse? That better not have been who I think it is. It was. Don't give me that look. I wouldn't have let her in there if I didn't think it was safe, you know? I was desperate. You just had such a half-hearted reaction to that door, so I started getting impatient and... I can't believe you! She could've... She wasn't in any danger, honestly. The Guardian in there was designed not to attack people unrelated to the trial. It didn't touch her even when she was right in front of it, right? That's proof enough. I'm sorry, okay? I never should have done it to begin with. Emma's lectured me over and over about it, too. You're sorry? You... I'm going to skin you alive. Uh, um... I'm not sure why you're whispering to one another, but regardless, I want you to know how much I appreciate what you did. Like I said before, I want to make your stay a comfortable one. Whatever you need, please don't hesitate to ask. It's okay, really. And... um... Sorry. Hmm? Why are you sorry? Well, she does genuinely seem to regret what she did. And at least didn't come to any harm. I guess I'll let her off this time. <laughs> I really do have one amazing little sister. Compared to her, I'm... Naturally, this, election, this section allows you to view details on various people you meet throughout the story. Character notes, yay. As you go to check with events and get to know someone on a more personal level, the information you've learned will be added to their section of the notebook. Good, good, good. What does? This footback sure brings back memories. And as tempting as taking a dip songs, I should probably save it for some other time. Hmm. 
She's praying so intently. Thinking about it, she must be even more distressed right now than I am. Why, hello, Reen! <laughs> You're looking rather well today. Much better than you were yesterday, at any rate. I feel loads better, actually. Thanks. How about you? Are you managing all right here? I'm guessing life in a tiny village like this is harder than you're used to. If there's anything I can do to make things easier for you, though, don't hesitate to let me know. Oh, not at all. I've been simply loving my stay here. The scenery is stunning. The hot springs are all so soothing. To say nothing of your mother's spectacular cooking. I'm having the time of my life here. I almost envy Elise for growing up in such a wonderful place. <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. Still... On top of all that, I was able to reunite with you here. Oh, and meet a mysterious talking cat, too. Not everyone gets to do that now, do they? Nope. I still haven't had the pleasure of meeting that ashen knight of yours, however. In time. Perhaps I might have the chance once he wakes up? <laughs> I suppose I can dream. Um, well... I realize I'm the last person who has any right to say this, but there's no need to force yourself to bottle everything up and put on a brave face. I know how worried I am about my classmates, so I can only imagine how you must feel. I... <laughs> I... I'm so sorry. I'm supposed to be royalty. I shouldn't be getting all worked up about something like this, but... I... Just thinking of what my family must be going through is just too much to bear. Cedric and I, we had a fight on the morning it all happened. I was planning to make up with him that evening, but I, I... I'm sure he won't hold that against you. You'll be able to make up with him next time you see him. I'm sure that'll be sooner than you think, too. But in the meantime, there's no need to force yourself to seem like being apart from them isn't bothering you. Royalty or not, no one would blame you for being worried or upset. And every single one of us here wants to do what we can to help you. I... <sighs> Thank you. I... I'm fine now. Um... I, I hope I don't sound ungrateful, but... I think you should be spending more time with Elise rather than me. This is your first chance in a while to spend some quality time together. I'd hate to take that away from her. Why? <laughs> I mean, it's true that she's a little more dependent on me than you'd expect for a girl her age. But that doesn't mean she needs me hovering around her all the time. Then again, she did seem more shaken up than usual. Maybe you're right. I should try and cheer her up while I still can. Th that's not exactly what I meant. Oh, this is so difficult on a fair maiden's heart, I hope you know. You're just making me wish you were my brother all the more! Why? That's a fair question. Why indeed? The world should be at the tavern, which is right up here. If you've come to thank me for saving your butt again, save it. I'm just glad I made it in time. Princess Alphen and that sister of yours are the ones you should be talking to. You were on their minds this whole time. Yeah, I can tell. I really do appreciate you coming for me, though. I was pretty far out from town, so I didn't think anyone would find me. Just goes to show what bracers can do, I guess. About that. I wasn't actually the one who found you. You weren't? Two days ago, I got a call out of nowhere on my Arcus. They gave me this crazy amount of detail on exactly where to find you, then they just hung up. 
didn't even say who they were. I figured it couldn't hurt to go take a look. And sure enough, there you were. Hmm, that's strange. I wonder who it was. Wish I could tell you. I couldn't even recognize their voice. Hmm, nah, that's not really true. It was kind of familiar, maybe. Eh, whatever. No use dwelling on it. Right now we've got bigger problems to tackle than mystery columns. There's the war for starters. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Have you and the rest of the guild been doing much? Well, we've been trying. We're pretty limited on what we can do, partly because we've all been split up since the war broke out. I don't even know if any of the others in Erebonia are okay, Sarah included. It sounds like things have gotten even more serious since I was away. Sure has. Not even regular civilians have been able to escape being affected by it. As it stands, the Noble Alliance has the overwhelming advantage. But the Imperial Army is showing no signs of surrendering to them, particularly in a few regions across the country. I see. Oh, and another thing you might hear. We've been getting reports of a few Jaeger Corps taking part in the war too, even members of Ouroboros. Ouroboros? That secret society? That's the one. Jaegers being employed here in Erebonia is nothing new, but there's way more of them here these days. As for Ouroboros, they're probably just trying to stir up trouble of their own. It's what they do best. Then there's the fact that Erebonia isn't the only place with problems right now. Crossbell's full of them too. There's so much to freak out about these days, it could drive you insane. Sorry. You've got enough on your plate without me dumping all this on you, huh? Try saving all those bad thoughts you got piling up for another day, okay? You need to focus on relaxing. You can decide what you want to do after that. Um, sure. Thanks, Toval. You're probably right. You're just a fountain of good advice, huh? <laughs> I've just got a few years worth of life experience on you, that's all. Oh, and while I'm giving you good advice, why not take a dip in the hot springs? Could be a nice way to clear your head. <laughs> it probably would. Hasn't let me down before. Maybe I should pay a visit to the Phoenix Wings later. Alright. That'll have to be the end of this one. That's all for today.